What up, though? It's your brother Jay is real, and I'm back with another video. Hey, I got something real special for y'all today. I got a new segment. I'm gonna call this uh, Wifey Range Day. That's right, me and the wife, we're going out to the range, getting a couple shots in, man. It's been a minute for her, you know, she need to knock the dust off. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get a couple shots in, get some practice shots, man. If it's your first time to the channel, go ahead to subscribe and notification bell so that you stay up the loop with all of my videos. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into this one. Whew. It's another cold one, y'all. Another cold one. Say hey to the vlog. Man, right, look at it, look at it. Huh? Ain't she beautiful? Huh? That's what you call a blessing. So it's range day, y'all. We're going out. Um, we shooting the Glock 19. It's gonna be my wife's first or second time shooting it, something like that. But uh, yeah, man. So, Bay, tell me, like, what? Um, like, I remember the first time you went shooting, and you was like. <laughs> So we're gonna say he was nervous. If I can find a clip of her, like her, her first time shooting, I, I'll put it on here. But uh, I remember our first time shooting, our first time shooting together. And I guess the question I got is like, how do you, how did you get to the point where you was just this nervous, you know, scared, dang there, ter terrified of firearms to the point where you know you 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 at where you at now as far as shooting and comfortability carrying and stuff like that um first off you he was nervous too when I was our first not. time going he so we both were shaky when we first went so basically i just never picture owning a gun or carrying a gun i feel like i don't need one i know this world is kind of crazy not kind of i know this world is very crazy but i never planned on um i never planned on owning a gun I, my fear is that I don't want to hurt anybody. So. Well, that's the intention. I don't. I'm not a firearm person with the intentions of using it. I hope I never have to use it on somebody. I know, but just to have to pull that trigger, it knows that I'm about to hurt somebody. So I feel like the only thing that kind of justifies it is if, like, you know, you're protecting your life. Um, then it is better to know how to shoot it rather than not knowing. So I guess the old saying, practice makes perfect. Um, we just came to the range like quite a few times and we just continued shooting. And I'm still not accurate with my shooting, but I know how to shoot. Like I know terms now, I know the proper technique. Um, I know what I'm supposed to do if a situation ever happened where I had to use my gun. Is that right? Yes. So tell me, cause I think you, so you said, um, as far as carrying, do you think that women need to carry a gun? Um, yeah, I think so. Because again, this world is very crazy and I feel like a woman will be tried before a man will. So, I mean, I could, I could be grocery shopping, I could be out shopping, I could be anywhere they see a young woman, let's just say somebody trying to come talk to me, trying to do anything, trying to take me away, anything. This world is crazy. And when you read all the stories and when you watch the movies, it's like that's real life situations that could happen at any second that actually do happen all the time. You just probably don't hear about it. So I do think it's important to own a gun and to carry one just to, um, just to be able to protect yourself. Now tell me this, so with us being in the truth, um, obviously you being a woman when it uh, comes to the subject of pants and skirts, right? So you don't wear pants, you wear skirts, right? Right. Is it difficult carrying with a skirt? Or do you carry with your skirt? Or you know, how, how, would, you, how would you suggest carrying a firearm? Being coming from where you're coming from, as far as being a woman that never wear pants and not like that. Oh, that's nice. That blue. That blue. That challenge. Yes. Yeah, but well, it's an SXT though. Hell yeah. Right. You got the wing it's on the blue. back, man. My favorite color is blue, and that uh, challenger is pretty. So I would say that it's pretty easy, depending on like what um, what kind of top that you carry. So I normally don't 
carry the gun on me. Like, I carry it in my bag or in my purse. And he fussed at me all the time because he feel like it should be somewhere on my body. And I do. I wear it on my body, like, when I have, like, uh, let's just say if I have a hoodie on. Then it's easy to cover the, um, cover up my hip or... I never I tried to appendix carry a few times but I don't really care for that one so when I normally have it on my hip I feel like it's not that hard to carry it's not that hard to conceal um if you have a bigger t-shirt on now of course if I have like a fitted top on then it's like everybody gonna see that I have a gun which is okay because we do have our license but at the same time it's not okay because I don't want people to know what I have um but yeah I just don't want people to know what I have on me so I would say I would say it, it can be hard, but it's ways around it where you can make it easy. Like I said, put on a bigger top. Um, but to be honest, I prefer to carry it in my bag, especially with it being winter time. Like normally I just have it in my front coat pocket and that's easier for me to be able to grab the gun out. But like in the summertime, I'll just have it like in a purse. All right, y'all, next time y'all see, see us, we'll be pulling up to the gun range. That's where your first mistake is at. Put the gun back down and unload it. Unload the gun. Yup. Yup. That's your first mistake. You don't take your hand, your, your shooting hand off the gun and then rack it. Like fences, go through the motions of racking You know I can't rack it like that. Huh? You know I can't rack it like that. Let me see your motions of racking the gun. Nope, nope, no, no, no. You ain't gotta put it. Just rack the gun. See, that's that's your first mistake. Where's your shoot? No, do that again. Where's your shoot hand? Why? Why? Why are you ain't racking with the left hand? Because exactly. I'm not left-handed. I'm right-handed. Right. You see how but, much easier I pull? Right. Girl. All right. <laughs> this is this is this is what I'm saying, babe. You shooting, bang, 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 right? The gun goes empty. You release your mag, you get your second, your spare mag and put it in there. Why would you go rack it and then go back like that? Because it's comfortable. I'm right-handed. No, but I understand you right-handed, but you don't want your hand, you see how your, per, your grip is gonna be perfect? You don't wanna mess that up if you in a tense situation. Why would you go boom, oh, put a new rack in and then switch hands like no, your hand need to be standing right there. You put the mag in, you rack it, and you good to go. I hear you. I don't think you do. Yeah, y'all, this is learning. This is learning, learning one for her. All right, come on, try it. But you about to do it again? Because it's comfortable. That's all you got to do. Hit gun, ready to go. Look, we 
Girls. Nah, let me see it again. See, this is what she was talking about. She ain't been in the range and practicing. She don't know what she ain't forgot how they can hold the gun. Simple, babe. Your hand goes all the way up like that, okay? So you, boom, boom. The gun is empty, by the way. Ain't nothing there. No magazine. So you want to grip it all the way, boom. Trigger figure pointed forward, I'm and then take the hand. hand, boom, cross it. Both thumbs should be pointed forward like that. Your, your trigger thumb should be on top. And this, just like that. Well, something ain't right. This Glock ain't comfortable. Just like that. Now, let me see. Bruh, it ain't right. Yeah. That ain't comfortable, bro. Okay, well, you gotta get comfortable before you can shoot. No, what's what's uncomfortable? This right hand, this left hand. Like, you really gonna shoot with two? You gonna, sh sh if you busting? If you busting, yeah. Yeah, but, so but I, I'm gonna talk about just busting. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> Give it to me. All right, well, okay, we'll practice with one hand then. I mean, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. I'm when saying, you like, practicing, like, I understand that, I understand that there is like a proper, uh, way of shooting but you also need to practice like realistic shooting situations so like she just said the proper way to carry your gun ha handle a gun as i just showed y'all is you know that's the proper way but is it comfortable you know what i'm saying is it realistic you know what i'm saying when you in a shooting um scenario like for instance like one one thing a lot of people would suggest is that you uh let's say if you're a right hand shooter your left foot go forward and your right foot go back yeah that's a technical uh, way of shooting but in a realistic situation you're not going to go stick your left foot forward right foot back pull your gun pull it out and shoot at your target in a realistic situation you're going to be standing straight up and you know what i'm saying faith you know whole body is going to be uh is going to be i don't know where i'm looking for but the whole body is going to be fa facing towards your target you're not you know you're going to be more like this instead of like that you know so i practice boom you know what i'm saying boom straight straight forward versus foot back foot forward like that which, like I said, it is the technical way of carrying the gun, but at the same time, you got to practice on real world situations. In a real world situation, you're not going to think, you know, to, to left foot, you're going to pull, like she just said, you're going to pull your gun out and just get to shooting and get to busting. So let's try it again. So this is like a real world scenario type of practice right here. Watch this. And that's how you do it. I think did all that. I don't think I did that. I think um, she did your that. Your realistic scenarios, you didn't know where you were shooting. Bro, comment below and let us know. Who who did the missing? She did or me? When I shot, mine's is like right here. But I think Negative. all this extra is you. Negative. Who, comment below and let us know. Who did the missing? Me why or her? You, why you ain't pull it back after you just did that realistic scene? You should have pulled it back then because he was everywhere. We're going to find out who it was. It me or was it her that did the missing? I ain't do no missing. Let's be honest. My baby need to get a uh, whatever. Get, <laughs> get her practice on or something, boy. You a little rusty out there, man. How you gonna save my life if I get down? How you gonna help us, huh? We gonna be hit, bro. <laughs> I 
First off, I hit body, okay? I, I just ain't know. hit. Hey, tell the truth. Comment below. Tell me who y'all think did all them misses. I ain't do the misses, yes, bro. Yes, you absolutely did. Nah, when bro. he did realistic views, just pulling the gun out from nah. his side and just shooting, he did that. Nah. Now, I'm not going to lie. The shooting thing, the whole gun collection, that's his thing. I am not into it. I simply carry it and have a gun because first off because of him that's the honest truth so like three years ago he's talking about the tourists though um he got his first gun and he like we gotta go get our license well we got our license before we got the first gun but he like you don't know if they gonna um take away no, our I rights and all already. this stuff we got our license together yeah but i'm saying i had a license a long time before i had bought a gun yeah no Oh, I thought you said we had got the license. No, the I said you got first. your license. No, I, I switched it. You got your license before you, we got the gun. Oh, okay. Um, but the reason why we got our license is because he thought our rights was going to be taken away. So he like, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was pretty much rushed slash forced into doing it. Um, so that's why my first time was shaky. But honestly, y'all, it's been like a year. I've been busy. I don't know what I've been doing. Like I said, it's not my thing. So if it was something that I love, then I'd be here all the time. And that's why he's here all the time. Um, but it's just not my thing. I carry, but I do not carry a Glock. I carry my SIG. Um, SIG video coming soon, y'all. Stay tuned. Yeah, so I prefer that over the Glock that we just shot. But still, I'm pretty sure even if I shot my SIG right by now, I would be rusty way off. So I know I definitely have to come more often than what I do. Exactly. Anyways, though, like, um, what would you say, like, your overall opinion is of the Glock 19? Like, you know, what's some stuff that you that you think you like about it? Okay, so I definitely like the Glock. Um, one thing I would say for sure that I like about it is the fact that it, you get the whole, is it 16 bullets? 16 or 17? Uh, 15 plus 15, 1. Okay, so 16. So I like the fact that you get the whole um, 16 bullets in the gun. Um, that's a plus. You never know how many times you need to shoot if something was to go down. I also like that the gun is a pretty smooth gun. Um, it's smooth. It's like it don't really hurt my hand. The ridges, I know you can like put little cute grips on there if you needed some type of grip. But the grip that comes with the Glock 19, it's pretty smooth. It don't hurt my hand. Um, I would say it's, it's kind of big though. Like me putting both my hands on it like i just feel like i really have to squeeze it hard to make sure my hands is really around it um well that could be because too though um because i got like the, the the extended grip on there you do yeah okay like it's the the, the grip is, is slimmer than what it is than what, how you shooting it because I, I got the extended grip on there. okay well maybe i don't like the grip that he had on it um to me it's kind of big and it's kind of bulky I do like that little light. That was my first time ever shooting with that light. What is it called? The uh, uh, stream light TLR8. Okay, so yes, that was my first time shooting with the light, and I'm not 100 percent sure. Like I didn't check, um, I didn't check the target every time we shot, so I'm not 100 percent sure if it may be more accurate. But I saw a light. At least I saw the light before I shot. I'm not 100 percent sure if I shot where the light was, but. It did give you kind of a sense of at least being in the area of where you were shooting. Oh, the Glock, it's not really heavy. Um, it's not a heavy gun. Even with it being loaded, to me, it don't seem heavy. Uh, again, I don't carry it because it is bigger and bulkier than the SIG that I carry. I prefer a smaller gun, but I have carried, um, carried the Glock around. And it's not that bad of a gun if I had to pull it out. I do like when you shoot it, so I don't typically like when you're shooting the bullet and the casing pops back at you. So to me, the Glock don't really shoot it back at your face. I've seen some where like I've gotten hit by the casing because, and the casing is hot after you have fired it um, because it's shooting in your direction. Like it seemed like the Glock shoots out to the side, so I do like that. Like it don't scare me. Like. I'm shooting at something, but yet some shooting back at me, so I don't really care for the casing. Um, so that's why I do like that the Glock don't really shoot it back at me. Yeah, so I would say that's a few things that I like about the gun. Okay. And uh, so overall, what would you rate the gun out of 10? 1, one through 10? 
I gave it an eight. About an eight. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, y'all, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video. Um, hey, if y'all want to see more, you know, content with my wife in it, more like women like uh, gun videos, anything like that, comment below. Let me know. Um, you know maybe I can get her, get her on board to come to the range with me a little bit more often. Shake off that dust. But, uh, but yeah, man, that's going to pretty much wrap up this one, man. Um, leave a like if you liked the video. Dislike if you disliked it. Um, comment. Uh, if it's your first time on this channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you stay in the loop with the video. As always, keep it real with God and keep it real with yourself. Shalom. Shalom.